took these out off camera. I just came home from work and started feeling like I got a little wind to me. And so I was like, let's throw these in the ground. Sorry, I did not record that. But these are the strawberries that were in this container and the other container, which is already back up on the porch. But um, I figure they would do better here. In doing some research and reading, I noticed um, or I've seen that onions will be a repellent. I'm going to definitely go get some liner because see these are already on the ground and they're just going to rot. They're not going to be edible at all. So probably need to go ahead and cut those off and there's one back there too. So what I'm going to do is get a liner and put some onions in here. So it could be a natural deterrent from the bugs. And then I came over here. Um, saw a young lady on Instagram who said that putting um, cilantro and peppers, she did like a salsa garden type deal where it's tomatoes, salsa, and jalapenos. And that will keep off the bugs and things from the tomatoes. So... These guys are looking good. So this is the um, heirloom salad tomatoes. And these are the two that I inherited, which this is two plants in here. So this is gonna be fun. And I think this one has two in it as well. So in this case, what will eventually happen is that the stronger plant will continue to grow and the other one will die off, or I will have two really strong plants and a massive amount of tomatoes in one area of this uh, bed. I figure it's going to get a little warmer and that'll help. They'll start to grow. So I'm gonna have to put a little marker right here so I can remember that there's something here. Otherwise I'll forget. So, typical fashion, let's give these guys a drink. So like I said before, these seeds were definitely out of date and I just want to give them a try. And as of right now, they are still not doing anything. So I'm gonna try them out for another week or so and then I may have to go back in with some newer seeds. Found these in the garage. The marigolds. But they're way out of date. They're worth a try. So let's do it. Just gonna wet the area a little bit. So marigolds are a plant, if you're not familiar, that will attract the pollinators to the garden and help the pollen move from plant to plant to help the flowers blossom to produce the fruit. What's the death of? depth one fourth so not very not very deep guess I'll go over here now because I wasn't quite sure if these would grow or not, I just used the entire pack. I mean, they've already been wasted thus far, so might as well give them their best chances of growing. So again, no spacing or anything. They're in there, just random. Let's see how many we get. So a few videos back, I spoke about how when you you want when you go to the garden center you want to get everything and this is a good example of how i got a lot of things in 2020 that i just was eager about and i never used so i cannot stress enough just to get what you need because otherwise it goes to waste so these are a few of my plants that's in the front bed we um my husband and i we put these out and we spread some pine straw. So do please do not judge us at the way it looks now. I have to show you guys a little after. Um, unfortunately, the lilies, they have lost their petals. And um, I'm not sure if they will rebloom again or if they only bloom one time. 
This has been in our yard since we moved to this house 15 to 20 years ago, and it always comes back. So I've just kind of started spreading it throughout the yard. Here's my trash to treasure hydrangea that my coworker saved from uh, the dumpster. And it is doing so well. I thought it was gonna be white, but it appears that it's going to be pink. The seedlings are coming along just fine. Um, they looked really, really good. I was really shocked because again, these seeds were from last year. So I went ahead and used all those up. This little guy's doing pretty good. It's actually starting to have some new leaves come to it. I was going to just cut it in half and put it on the front porch and let it pull up, come out again. Still may do that because this pot is way, way too big for this. And the lettuce, this one's looking pretty good. This one is not looking so good. I don't know if this one's going to make it or not. It's kind of nasty looking down in there. Oh, yeah. I don't think this one's going to make it. Might as well just pull this up. It's just... Oh, yeah. This is bad. So you throw that away. This one is looking pretty decent. The leaves don't ever get bigger than this. It's kind of concerning. I do know that I used garden soil for this because that was the only soil that I had, but I feel like I need to really get the proper soil and put in there. I think what I'm going to do is take this lettuce and put in some soil that's proper for the nutrients it may need because I, I think that's why it's not doing well. Yep, let's start this little guy. Hmm. On, on, in other news, everything here is going great. I just took this out of the pot and stuck it in there. What a disservice. Really need to get some more soil. It smells so good. So I did cut this one. I saw this video where a girl said you can cut three stems high and make a another plant so here's the other plant okay i have another one no roots are on it just yet but i changed the water out and just wait for it to grow when i got in from work and I walked outside. With the combination of rain and lots of sunshine, the I honestly did not expect to see this much growth. Move this out here and I don't know that it's gonna make it. Figured I'd give it a little sun, but it's so wilty. Probably shouldn't have put it directly in the sun. I don't know. Still nothing going on here, but definitely. Just in a day's time, look at that, that root system. I got to get these down. And I got to look back at some old video because I don't even know what this, I know these are okra. I feel like this is okra beans. Was this zucchini maybe? I think this was zucchini. Looks like a zucchini leaf. Or was it cucumber? Oh, I don't know. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye.